Welcome to Paraben Z3 Platform, the Android Root Engine. The Android Root Engine was designed to allow you to get the most out of the general Android Root community that is not part of digital forensics. The engine allows you to use those third-party routings that have been developed by the community within the E3 platform, so you're using it within a forensic environment. Routing has by far been one of the preferred forensic acquisition methods done with Android devices because it allows you to do the least amount of changes to the device while still allowing you the optimal amount of data. There are different sites that provide different routing options for Android devices. These are only a few of the huge list out there that is available to you. You can reference the E3 help file for details on where you can find those different sites and different extraction options for root images that can be brought into the E3 platform. Now we'll have Edwin, the digital avatar of E3, walk you through the process. Hello, and welcome. I am Edwin, the digital avatar for Parabin's electronic, evidence, examiner platform. In this video, we will obtain, privileged access to an Android device using the, E3 root engine. Launch E3, and connect the device for routing. Then click, root engine device. In the root engine wizard, select the device to be rooted, and click start. When the, allow USB debugging message appears on the device, tap OK, to continue. The root engine utility, predefines recommended routing parameters for the selected device. To set the, routing parameters manually, select this option. You can use the link to view more information about each parameter. Click, continue. In a situation where the, use ROP slash JOP technologies routing parameter is selected, click browse, and navigate to the kernel file that matches the firmware of your device. Follow the link to view additional information about raw kernel file extraction. Click, continue. Read the important information carefully, accept the risks, and click, Start Routing. After successful routing, you can acquire the device. Please note, that as soon as the device is disconnected, the root access will be lost. Click, Start Acquisition, then select the type of acquisition you wish to conduct. In this example, we will conduct a full logical acquisition. Skip the pre-acquisition options page, and launch the acquisition process. When the acquisition process is complete, click, finish. The acquired data is added to the case, and your evidence is now ready for analysis. In this video, we will extract a compressed kernel file from the firmware of an Android device, using Python, and Perl. Begin by downloading Python, and Active Perl, installers from trusted sources. Install them according to the instructions. Please note, that you can find the links to the required tools in the instructions for kernel file extraction in the E3 root engine wizard. Once this is complete, ensure that the folder contains the, firmware, binwalk, and busybox tools, as well as the Perl script. Copy the boot.image file from the firmware folder, to the folder with the Perl script, and BusyBox tool. Next, open a command prompt. In the command prompt, type the cd command and the slash d switch. Specify the path to the folder, with the required tools, for kernel file extraction, and press enter. Next, you will unpack the boot.image file using the Perl script. To do this, type the Perl script name, and the boot.image name, and press enter. This action results in an boot.image kernel file. Next, you can analyze the boot.image kernel file, 
using the bin walk tool, to determine if the file is compressed, or uncompressed. Enter the full path to the bin walk tool, then type the boot.image kernel file name, and press enter. As you can see, this boot.image kernel file is compressed, with an offset of 16495. To extract the file with the offset, you can use the BusyBox tool. Specify the full path to the BusyBox tool, and type the command as shown on the screen. In this command, skip is the offset, and boot.imagekernel.raw is the name of the file, with the offset. Press Enter. The compressed file with the offset is extracted. Next, unpack the compressed file using the 7-zip file archiver. This will result in an uncompressed file, which can be selected on the Linux kernel file for ROP slash job technology page of the root engine wizard. In this video, we will obtain privileged access to an Android device using the E3 root engine. To obtain the privileged access to the Android device, using the root engine utility, you may need the raw kernel file extracted from the firmware. This video will show you how to extract an uncompressed, raw kernel file from the firmware. As with compressed, raw kernel files, this method also requires Python, and Active Perl. Begin by downloading the installers from trusted sources. Install them according to the instructions. Please note, that you can find the links to the required tools in the instructions for kernel file extraction in the E3 root engine wizard. Once this is complete, ensure that the folder contains the firmware, bin walk, and busybox tools, as well as the Perl script. Copy the boot.image file from the firmware folder, to the folder with the Perl script, and busybox tool. Next, open a command prompt. In the command prompt, type the cd command and the slash d switch. Specify the path to the folder, with the required tools, for kernel file extraction, and press enter. Next, you will unpack the boot.image file using the Perl script. To do this, type the Perl script name, and the boot.image name, and press enter. This action results in an boot.image kernel file. Next, you can analyze the boot.image kernel file, using the bin walk tool, to determine if the file is compressed, or uncompressed. Enter the full path to the bin walk tool, then type the boot.image kernel file name, and press enter. As you can see, this boot.image kernel file is uncompressed. Now, you can select this boot.image kernel file on the Linux kernel file for ROP slash job technology page of the root engine wizard.